My fellow metalheads, welcome back to Bullheaded Reactions. And today we're going to be doing another reaction to Flora Jensen, but this time in the previous band that she was in called the Revamp, with a particular song Disdain, which is uh, this performance was requested live at Grass Pop, which I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming it's like what? Uh, Finland or uh, I'm not sure where that place is particularly from. And I'm going to check it out. Somebody, uh, this was quite requested by a few of you guys down in the comments. So I thought it'd be interesting to check it out. Give my honest and genuine opinion, what I like it, dislike it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But let's get right into the reaction, guys, and see what happens here. Live performances. I love those. Well, that was uh, valid, obviously. Uh, are you ready for something more heavy? Yeah. yeah. Grass Bob, was that a yes? <laughs> I can't hear you. Love crowd participation. So much fun. Fucking hell, it's hot up here. Are you ready for a next song? And she's doing it in high heels like a boss. Are you guys, are you ready for a next song? Are you guys ready? Let's go. Destin! A little growl in there. Oh, that's on Ice Third shirt. That's my guy right there. She has a very different approach to her kind of attitude and how she acts on stage from Nightwish to this band. I would say like uh, Nightwish is a little bit more classy, almost like this. she has this kind of um, very theatrical approach, I would say. Here, she's just like a, like a, just an old school metalhead go, going for it. Now, I'm going to say something that's going to get me in a whole lot of trouble with Nightwish fans and revamp fans. But I, like I told you guys, I'm always going to be 100% genuine in how I feel. And is that she should stick to singing. Uh, at least if this is her example of doing growling. Uh, I personally think, in my opinion, nobody else's that she doesn't sound very good when she growls at the very least not very good live maybe on the studio version it sounds great on the live version she does not sound good um it feels almost forced in my opinion when it comes to singing she's phenomenal singing uh she, she's definitely one of the top uh if not female just singers in heavy metal right now but when it comes to this kind of growls that she's trying to do, especially who guy, uh, somebody who enjoys growling, and this is why it was recommended to me, no. Uh, I'm sorry I'm, I'm breaking a lot of people's hearts here saying this, but I think a genuine reaction, a real reaction, and a, a, an honest thought is much better than me just nodding my head and agreeing with you guys just so you like me a little bit more. Uh, I feel like it's more important to be 100% with you.
I just also know she has really beautiful eyes. Uh, that's really like they're really green. And um, yeah, just this is an example. In the same song, she does singing and this her more more I'll, I'll say I don't know if it's operatic is the right word, but more operatic voice. And it sounds wonderful. It sounds great. It sounds great live, despite that this recording is also not a very good. Um, so maybe part of the, what I'm not liking here is that the recording itself and the sound of the concert rather than her growling singing. And even like in comparison to the other guy, when he was doing his growls, he was better at them. I think he sounded better. And he was almost doing like almost borderline death metal. Yeah, I, um, I think another thing that kind of sticks out to me in this particular thing is that I don't think, I think in terms of songwriting, Nightwish is above this band. They just have better songwriting and all the songs I've heard from Nightwish. This song, in many ways, I, I don't know what they're trying to do. There, there's this growls, like death metal. There's her growling, then there's her doing like the middle singing, and there's her doing high pitch singing. They're playing keyboards while they're trying to be really loud and very... I, I feel like it's a mishmash of different things um, that doesn't really equate to good. Like, it's talented musicians, but the songwriting to me doesn't do it. And again, uh, this is just my opinion, like how I feel about this. So my immediate reaction to the song and my immediate feeling to the song it, is, it just doesn't this particular song just doesn't jive i don't know what their other songs are like i haven't heard revamp she's the highlight she is the star of this band i absolutely understand why nightwish grabbed her and dragged her into her, their own band because i feel like she was wasting their almost like almost sounds like she's wasting the talent on the music that doesn't really accompany her and support her i did a actually a reaction of a Nightwish song where I said she was the highlight of the song and they were only enhancing her with music. Here, I felt like it was just a mishmash of things that didn't exactly do anything for me personally. Uh, hopefully, you guys, you enjoyed this reaction. I know it's not always what you want to hear that I'm going to say, but I'm always going to be 100% honest with you guys and how I feel inside, what kind of reaction I have to the music that you suggest. And the great thing about it is just because I, doesn't, I don't like it doesn't mean it's bad. And if I do like it, it's great. We can have a conversation either way. And that's the most fun part that I have with you is people who are reasonable and we can have these conversations, talk about metal, what we love, what we don't love. Are oh, you crazy? How can you like this? How can you love that? How can you hate this? I love those conversations. Guys, make sure to enjoy the rest of your day. And if you do enjoy this channel, make sure to subscribe down for more. I'm going to be doing, trying to do uh, two reactions a day now because it seems like you guys are really enjoying it so I can cover more songs on this channel. Peace out.